Well, forensic criminologists have a role in studying crime scenes. They go to school and, and they painstakingly study how to analyze crime scenes, how to use, they, they have their toolkit that they bring with them, and they know how to use all of these tools in order to, to draw clues out of a crime scene and, and possibly determine who it was that committed the crime. And if you've ever seen a crime scene, if may, maybe you haven't, but I'm sure you've seen on TV where they've got that yellow tape and they tape the, the crime scene off. And the reason they do this is because they don't want anyone coming into the crime scene that might bring something into the crime scene that doesn't belong there that would skew their ability to, to derive the truth of the clues that are there. And so they very cautiously and carefully step into the crime scene with these little mitts on their, on their shoes and, and their, on their gloves and maybe even glasses and so forth. Anything that would keep anything from tainting the crime scene. And, and they bring their toolkit and they begin to, to implement all of their study of the, the crime scene using these tools. On Wednesday night we do Bible study and I, I, I call us Bible scene investigators and I use that metaphor often for the reason and for the specific purpose of when we study the Bible, we want to we study the Bible in the same way. And perhaps you've heard me say before that there are really four sources of, of, of authority that, that you and I hail to. The first source of authority is intellect. And, and our intellect oftentimes will influence uh, and, and cause us to, to recognize certain things. And we would say things like, well, that, that makes sense. That, I, I agree with that. That makes sense. That holds water. Or, the, or perhaps the opposite. That doesn't make sense. Now, another source of authority are our experiences. You know, in our life, as we go through life, we experience things. We see things happen. We see how things play out. We see how things work. And in our experiences, we look at things, we observe them, and we say, oh, well, you know, in my experience, that, that's the case. Or in my experience, that's really not the case. The third one, the third source of authority is, is our, our traditions. The, the way we do things, the way we've done things, and you know, perhaps you've heard people say, well, that's, that's the way we do things here, or that's the way things have always been done, or that, in, in, my, in my understanding, this is the way we're supposed to do things. And of course, the fourth source of authority is the Word of God, the one true source of authority. And if our intellect, our experiences, and our traditions don't align with the Word of God, they're invalid. Invalid. And so as Bible scene investigators, we want to we wanna learn how to set aside our preconceived notions about God, about religion, about life, about our worldview, and particularly about the Bible. And we want to hail to a biblical worldview. Well, how do we do that? I'm glad you asked. We have a very similar toolkit to the, to the forensic criminologist. We, we use tools in order to study the Word of God. If you, you may be aware that the Bible was written over a 1500 year period. 40 different authors on three different continents in three different languages. Imagine that. Different genres and so forth, but all one single thread of message, salvation by faith in Christ. Only God, only God could bring that about in, in the vastness of the authorship of this amazing book. Only God could bring that about. But as we go through life, and you know, perhaps you were raised in the, in the church, and there are, are, you know, you get blushes of certain things about the Bible, about God, and, and you get these, this paradigm about God. We get this paradigm about religion and how things are supposed to go in church, and what church is, and what it's supposed to be, and what the Bible does or doesn't say, and we, we get these ideas. But I want to challenge us. I want to challenge our thinking. I want to challenge us to, to really look in ourselves and, and, and recognize and ask ourselves, do I hold to a purely biblical worldview? And when I study the Bible, am I studying it with these paradigms or these preconceived notions of what I think? Or, or, or am, I, am I able to set all of those preconceived aside and, and really study and look at the Word of God?